Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of artwork in response to the artist Anthony Jerris. Um, I have already opened a new project, um, an A4 size document, and I have also gone onto Google and searched for a grid PNG. So I've got that transparent background, which will make things easier later on. I have also grabbed a picture of myself and I've already removed the background um, and I have also grabbed this image. Um, I typed in dirty colour into Google and I got up this kind of grungy wall picture. Um, I just wanted something that wasn't just a plain colour in my background. I felt um, with something like this the and devils in the details and I think a um, interesting colourful background is um, going to make for a better final result. So I've control C, control V that onto my project and resized it to fit. I'm now going to go um, filter blur Gaussian blur and blur this up to the point where everything is uh, mixed and you can't really see much detail. Um, and that's the kind of effect we're looking for. Just a, a background that is more than just one colour. I'm also um, doing uh, image adjustments, hue saturation, just to make it more colourful and a more blue shade of green rather than a yellow one. Okay, next up I'm going to select my portrait and I'm going to control C, control V and paste that into the image. Just going to resize that so I fill majority of the project space. Don't need to worry so much about my shoulders more about filling the area nicely and then I'm going to get the grid and same select the whole thing and then control C and control V and that is going to put the grid onto my project and then same as the other things I resize to bring that up to the size of my project. And when I resize, it brings the grid to a certain size and I think the lines need to be a bit thicker. So I'm just going to stroke with one pixel and black just to make the grid lines just that little bit more chunky. And I'm going to right click and rasterize that so that becomes a permanent feature. But as in the artist's work, I don't want my lines to be black. So image adjustments invert and that gives me white lines instead. OK, and now really easily, I've just got to take away squares. So on the grid layer, I get the magic wand tool. There I go. And pressing shift so I can select multiple squares at once. I just click whichever squares I want to get rid of and turn into the background colour. I would suggest looking at the artist's work while you do this to help you decide which squares are going to get the best effect. And once you've chosen, you then go back to your photo layer and press delete and everywhere where you just selected will disappear. The good thing about this is that you can take your time and do a few squares at a time until you're satisfied with the end result and you feel you have taken enough squares away. And when you're all done, hopefully, you will be left with something that looks a bit like this. And that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful.